Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here today with Colin to tell you a little bit, a little bit about the egg mechanic program up here at WITC in New Richmond. This is a two-year course where you're trained in how to properly maintain and work on tractors and other farm equipment. In your first year, you'll start out with the basic diesel engine theory. This is where you learn how the diesel engine came about, the different parts in it, different types of parts like pistons and injectors, and how to take one apart and put it back together so that it runs properly. Moving into the second semester, you'll start covering the electrical systems in these tractors. You go through troubleshooting, learn how to measure for volts, amps, and ohms, and you hook the computer up to the school's tractor and learn a little bit on how to make adjustments and read different codes in the school's tractor. Now I will turn you over to Colin to get a description of what you'll be covering in the second year course. Hello, I'm Colin. In your second year of education, you will be learning about hydraulics, such as different systems like open and close centers and power trains, as far as transmission, <coughs> uh, uh, transmission uh, overhauls. Uh, power shifts, quad range, and the new IBT transmissions. Okay, now since you've got a brief description on the different courses, the basic diesel engine, the electrical, hydraulics, and transmissions, we're going to move to another very important part, and that's your tools. Now, if you decide to take this course, you'll get a list of the basic tools you need before you start your first year, and they will also have a day where you can go and buy tools from Mac, Snap-on, and whatever other places are there. Now if you look over here, this is the most common one you'll see. And inside of it, you've got your basic wrenches, and, or ratchets and sockets from half inch, three eighths, down to a quarter. And you also have all your basic wrenches that you're gonna need. And you also have your torque wrenches too. Another big part of this that you'll need quite a bit your first year is your electrical meter. This meter here will show you what volts you're getting, amps, ohms, temperature, and RPMs. So this is a real good one to have for this year, or for your first year. Now, moving on from tools that you're going to actually have to purchase, we're going to run up to the tool cage here and show you a few things that the school's got on hand for you to use. Hi, I'm Colin Wernzel again, and your uh, project tractors, you can either bring one in from home, or the instructors will provide a project for you. They're typically older tractors, uh, 60s through 80s. Um, here is our tool cage at WITC. You can see we have an arbor press. We have different types of seal drivers. We have our three quarter inch socket sets, grease guns. Um, we also have uh, three quarter inch air impact wrenches, engine plates for Cummins, IH, John Deere. You also have your different bolt assortments, fine nuts, grease fittings, woodruff keys, electrical terminals. We also have a big three-quarter inch torque wrench, uh, AC equipment, hydraulic testing equipment, battery chargers, and we over here, we have our valve grinder, also with our uh, head resurfacing machines that grinds the valves. Um, over here with a few bearing pullers and then some other assortments of your uh, other different pullers. Uh, in here you have your measuring standard measuring tools like your micrometers and also your depth gauges. 
we also have straight edges for um, like uh, block decks and whatnot. Then come over here. We have our alternator and starter tester, along with our starter load tester, which are very helpful helpful for your first year. Okay, so that's our tool cage, and we saw briefly a few of the things that the school has. And now I'm just going to bring you for a quick walk around the shop so you can see the nice area that we have to work in. This shop was just built and ready for the fall semester of 2012. As you can see, it holds quite a bit of tractor. Also, happened up available in here at this point in time, too. that we'll also be using is what we learned how to do AC. This is our mobile HVAC machine. It's how you test for leaks, refill, discharge, AC, compressors, and lines. You might be wondering what this is here. This is one of our exhaust vents for when we're running the tractors in the building. It sucks the exhaust up and out of the shop so you don't have to sit and breathe all that in. And there are a few general classes as well, such as Info Resources, Applied Communication, Success Strategies, Math, Welding. Math, they tend to try to keep to relate it to the program we're in. And to sum up the rest of the classes, they're pretty much teaching you how to write resumes, use your computers for what you might need, such as Word or Spreadsheet or Slideshows. And basically communicate with people in the business world. But that's all I really have for you today. So if you think that you might be interested in learning how to work on tractors and other farm equipment, you can give the school a call at 651-246-6561. Thank you for watching our video.